Hey guys, Steadfit here. The Rundown. Uh, this episode will be on the Berlin Tour. I know we're a couple days into it, so you might have already figured some of these things out, but essentially the Rundown was created in order for me to be able to provide a summary or a snapshot of what's going on in the game from a meta level, a strategy perspective. You know, So for me, it's looking at the pipes, the packs, uh, who got updated, who got buffed, um, and specifically, what are some of the best items to invest in and I think it helps out people who are either uh, pay to win, free to play, gold pass only. Those people, um, no matter who you are, you want to know that your tickets are being invested wisely. And from that perspective, I decided to create the rundown. And um, I've been tweaking things here and there. I'd love to hear your comments of what I could improve or how I could be able to make things better. So feel free to let me know. Constantly trying to uh, provide content that not just I want to, to understand, but also that's helpful to you. So let's jump right in. Um, obviously, this is the first time we've had a city tour in quite some time. Looking at pipe one, uh, not a great pipe. So I think we've been spoiled over the last few tours with some fantastic pipes. This isn't necessarily one of them. I know for myself, um, I'm going to be wailing less hard uh, in you know what uh, what type of packs I get, etc. And so one of my rules is, you know, unless these odds are outstanding, I'm probably going to pass on a week one pipe. Um, and so th that is a strategy. Uh, it's going to be kind of my strategy going forward. Unless I have coin box, you know, I, mean, I think maybe boomerang or, or a giant banana might be, you know, a few exceptions that I make. But really, I'm going to avoid the week one pipe. I will say some of the trends that I've seen is that, um, you know, when they come out with a new ranked track, a lot of the times they'll give you only four or five options, and all of those happen to be week one pipes from the last few tours. So it makes things a little bit difficult. They do typically throw one in there. Um, you know, for this week, it's like King, King Babam or uh, Pastry Chef Shy Guy. Um, but most of the time, the, the other people that they're, they're throwing in there are harder to get drivers just when it comes to their, their they're in these pipes. These are premium pipes. Um, this is going to be definitely one I, I pass on, um, but I'll kind of get into some of those contents as to um, to what's unique about them as well as also other things that are new this tour um, a couple things I want to point out is this is Berlin byways 2 what happened to one you know, it's a question that everyone's been talking about I have three guesses you can let me know in the comments if you have a fourth or if you think um, you agree with any of these but option a um, they created Berlin byways 1 and there was a section of that specific track where there were some issues some glitches, uh, some breaks in the code. You've seen these before. I know in the last tour there was uh, that Rainbow Road, that gl last gliding section. If you fell at any point immediately to the front, so I know a lot of people were upset that they used a red shell, knocked a guy, they should be in first. Nope, they finished in second. So um, there are glitches like that in the game, uh, you know, and, and, and there are actual breaks in the code. One of the guesses is that they said, hey, we gotta avoid this break. One thing we could do is we could recode everything to say byways two and just fix this one piece, or we can copy all this code, meanwhile fix it, copy it and put it in as Berlin byways two, fix this here, um, and be able to save this byways one. So that's option A, is that the break of the code, they copied and pasted, and instead of going back and changing all that code from one to two, that pasted uh, all had you know, they could make the changes there. Um, that's an option. Um, option B is that they had a plan for a Mar after the Mario versus Luigi tour. If Luigi won, they would have a specific set of, uh, you know, and, and obviously lining up with the anniversary, they could have had a Berlin by ones by ways one and be able to have all this huge Luigi tour. Um, that's a certainly an option or, and, uh, or maybe if, uh, you know, um, they had that, um, big anniversary tour or whatever with big Luigi, then Berlin, uh, Berlin Byways 1 would have been had a Mario alt, and that would have been a different avenue that they went. And because of that Mario versus Luigi outcome, they had to make some changes. So that's option B. Option C is, uh, and again, these are just all my thoughts that have been rolling around in my head. I don't really, it's not random. It's not a mistake. I don't think they, they made a mistake. Um, but that third option is that they kind of threw a bone to let people know um, that this game will be around for a while. Obviously, this is a tour that could be, 
coming off of everything that we've we've seen so far, kind of a depressing tour. You know, it's it's back to normal. Um, and those people that have been kind of on the fringe of sticking around, hey, you know, hey, an anniversary blew all my rubies. Hey, you know, first year anniversary, um, you know, new year blew all my rubies. Do I really want to keep playing? And so for those people, you know, maybe Mario Kart Tour is letting them know, hey, we're not going anywhere. We have a Berlin's one. We have a Berlin Berlin two. Um, you know, if you step away from the game for a week or a month, we're not going anywhere. Um, in fact, you know, here's here's a hint. You know, we have a Berlin's one. Um, so you know, if you do walk away, you can always come back. Or hey, why don't you hold on? You know, we 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 have more plans for the future. And here's just one example. So just a couple ideas. Uh, feel free in the comments below to let me know if you have an idea. But that's kind of uh, first addressing the elephant in the room when it comes to Berlin Byways 2. As for these items, um, you know, feel free to save this, take a screenshot, because it would help just kind of reviewing what tracks these new items have. But I think one thing that's extremely important, this is the first time that a level 3 or level 6 track have ever been a city. Ever. So far, all of level 3, level 6 have been non-cities and so I think over the last year we've been accustomed to in the rotation being non-cities and really all our values that we've given to items in the game have all been based on non-city tracks so maybe this is a tip of the hand that we'll start to get more cities and get cities involved in the regular rotation I don't know just a guess I'm not sure what exactly what it means but this is the first time that we have a level three or level six city track. So it's really important to kind of point that out. But we have three new carts, just as we, did, we didn't need any carts at all, we now have three. Um, what's unique, and, and we'll get into the packs later, is that we have this uh, this little penguin glider, penguin wingtip little combo, um, but both both in very interesting items. No ties to Rosalina Ice World, which is interesting, because I, I, when I saw that penguin, I was like, oh, that reminds me of uh, the Rosalina tour where we had these penguins jumping at us at every every angle and of course ruining a run so um, Interesting there that uh, most of the ties are to cheap cheap or um, to uh, to other tracks like other beach tracks and not ice tracks so getting into the non spotlight drivers in that week one pipe you know typically you know we see some of the spotlight drivers from week two thrown in there which is great but then we have some other stuff. I know everyone's been looking at um, King Babam as now a all cup item, and now it's been confirmed that Black Yoshi is an all cup, uh, all cup, all cup uh, freebie there um, when you clear um, all those pipes, um, all the cups there. So from that standpoint, we have a a potential permanent item in a hundred pipes, which is Black Yoshi to go with King Babam, which is outstanding um you know compared to the carts which haven't made any change um and this is the third time that there hasn't been any change whatsoever to the carts typically it's been the carts that they keep adding things to but maybe they've hit a cap here and they say you know what well we had some stuff to the drivers so it's interesting black yoshi king babam could be pot potential uh, permanent pipe items most likely the case as for these uh these carts you've seen these below or you've seen these many times um no changes to the carts below as for the gliders, um, interesting here. So the Star Shoot and Dry Bowser Umbrella have been in this pipe uh, for the second tour in a row. Uh, I think even the Star Shoot, obviously being a spotlight in, in one of those, this might be the third time there. But um, these do look like they're permanent pipe items now, which is exciting. And then we have two others that are thrown into this week one pipe. Um, one being the blooper wingtip, which I believe will be a spotlight in the week two pipe. And the Silver, silver Star Shoot, which is um, in a pack, which we've kind of started to see here recently as well, where you have an item from a pack being brought into the pipe as well. So here's my prediction. I'm believing that there will be uh, eight high ends um, in this um, week two pipe. And specifically, I'm kind of th comparing this to the Peach 2 pipe um, this past summer, you know, where you saw, I think it was uh, PGP, Vacation Peach, and Peach Winter Time. Uh, along with, I think it was the, the Royal Parachute and the Wildfire Flyer. But between all those, you have a lot of combinations. So from there, we're looking at Penguin Luigi, Classic Luigi, Build a Luigi, along with Blooper Wingtip and Sushi Racer. The only one I'm not 100% certain on is the Sushi Racer. 
does look like one of the larger items in the background, but then also it's been buffed um, or at least been featured in ranked week two. Uh, from talking with Tabor, it does seem like it's uh, it's very useful and ranked for the week two. And uh, so from that standpoint, these are my predictions. I'm comparing it. If you want to see my pipe pull from the Peace Store, feel free to check that out. Might be a good indication of what this pipe might look like. All right. Um, for the special pipe, it was released this morning. So I'm recording this full disclosure very early on Sunday morning. Um, so it's not a strong possibility, but it is confirmed a uh, two two non spotlight pipe here. So it's interesting. I'm not gonna be really pulling on it. Um, I mean, I don't have uh, outside of Pauline, I don't have any of, the, any of these things maxed, but um, I'm kind of trying a unique strategy where I essentially will run out of coins um, unless Nintendo forces me to pull. Um, so I'm basically letting Nintendo decide how much I'm going to be investing into this game. And so from that standpoint, um, the, one of the reasons I've been creating this content um, is that I'll be probably doing less pipe pulls and doing more content like this. Hopefully you enjoy that. Feel free to let me know suggestions on how to review the pipe information without um, and, and kind of giving somebody a pipe pull breakdown without, um, without spending too many rubies. Um, I think I'll be trying this strategy for a while to see if things change up. My shop has not been um, very positive here lately. We'll just put it that way. But this, from this standpoint, um, this is a it's an okay pipe. You know, four high ends, and a fifty pipe is not bad. You know, carts and, and drivers are good as compared to you know all carts um, or um, I think all drivers would be nice. But uh, to have two drivers, have two carts, um, they're kind of more rare. Uh, items here. I know the sports coupe has actually had a lot of decent value here recently, but some of these other cards don't have a lot of value. Um, specifically, let's say the, the double decker bus, it looks cool. Um, you might like how it handles, but it's got a lot of city tracks, a lot of city tracks. And this bad wagon's arguably the worst <laughs> cart in the game when it comes to, to value. Just so much invested into cities. Uh, it doesn't have very much to begin with. <laughs> I, I think it's. Um, it's got uh, eight eight options, uh, eight non-city tracks, and like six, uh, or maybe it's. Uh, I'll actually, I have the information here in a little bit, so we'll get to that point. But not a, not a great pipe. If you want to go into it, feel free. Um, it's got some more air, rare items. Um, now, of course, we've been seeing some of these items more recently, but feel free to go at your own risk. Um, I did look back to see if there were any other pipes that were kind of similar when it came to a fifty pipe, and if they had carts or and drivers. Here's one from, um, uh, I believe it was very, very early last year, around Easter. So this is this pipe that was out there. Um, looking back, this was much, much better with PGP and Party Time Pauline, everyone's favorite version of Pauline, um, versus Musician Mario and uh, <laughs> and the regular Pauline. So here's actually one of my one of my biggest topics I want to discuss on this video. These pipes are, or these packs are very, very unique. Um, we'll kind of start from top to bottom. But the, one of the things I kind of want to point out is that this, to me, is showing everybody that we've moved on from year one and into year two, um, when it comes to at least 2020, 2022. So we've had kind of like a king of the hill when it came to carts. You know, we had Rose Queen, Black, Wild Black. These were the two paid walled. Um, you know, signs of the whale carts, and uh, they've been king of the hill. They've been rocking it. They've been so valuable. I, you know, they've been our, one of our top four carts, basically for the <laughs> since they came out. They've been extremely valuable, and now everyone seems to start to be getting them between um, you know the different packs that have been coming out, and so a lot of people are starting to get to six. I know the whales have had it for at, at level six for. Geez, six or seven months. Once we realized how important they were and, and how crucial they were and how paywall they were, um, most of the wells have them at six. And so, you know, I think when it comes to looking at these pipe, we'll look at these packs. The free to play players are saying, "Oh my gosh, I need to get these packs. Uh, these are I haven't paid for any packs, uh, and and now we have some that uh, that we've been longing for all year." Well, I also want to point that out is that. Um, What's unique about these is that uh, we've come off of uh, an anniversary um, of the game and then an anniversary of uh, our <laughs> our annual calendar, uh, the, the New Year's pipes. Everyone's a low on rubies, right? So everyone's thinking, 
I'm going to go ahead and, you know, buy whatever I, you know, I need to replenish this or whatever. Um, that combined with Rose Queen, Wild Black, you know, I think people are, they're finally giving people a, uh, a way to be able to replenish the rubies with attractive packs. And these are attractive packs. One of the things that I specifically believe is that you have a lot of whales who have a lot of these things maxed. And they're immediately drawn to what's new. Uh, I already have pink gold uh, paper glider. I already have the wild black. I already have rose queen. I already have pink gold peach. A lot of them even have black Yoshi max. The only um, pack with rubies in it left is this iron cucumber. And from a value perspective, it's terrible. It's all, arguably one of the worst cards that have been released when it comes to value because you have a uh, 90 pack, which is more expensive, and then you'll have one cart. It's not just one, it's not a driver, it's not a glider, it's a cart. We all have so many carts, and so I think a lot of people are thinking that's not even a great value. It comes with a lot of point tickets, which is fine, but we're now that we've been able to have that increased, we have the auto mode. Most people don't need those tickets. Especially with Rocket Star Plus, which I think a lot of people um, don't think are, have a lot of value. I actually like Rocket Star Plus. I think it's one of the actually the best. Uh, it, I think Jump Boost is, is personally the best, and then Dash Panel. And then I would say for me, Rocket Start. Um, the Mini Turbo, when you actually do the point, when you actually do the math, it's not that great. A lot of people think it's great because they're thinking, oh, I'm doing more Mini Turbos than I am Dash Panel, but it's not that much more in the way of points. So just pointing that out there. Um, from my perspective, we might be seeing a handing off of the paywall baton. We might actually be seeing Iron Cucumber. It's got uh, a lot of city tracks, as we talked about, I think two there um, in addition. So, um, you know, when it comes to level three and level six. So it, just a lot of city investment. Um, it's a more expensive pack. You're, uh, you're kind of thrown off with the Rocket Star Plus. From everyone's perspective, from the outside looking in, it looks like a terrible pack. Don't get it, everyone's saying... But my, uh, my hypothesis is this might be the new Wild Black. This might be the new Rose Queen. This might be a new extremely valuable cart. Might be worth, just saying, might be worth getting at one and just holding tight to see how it ends up turning out. Um, I remember being scared off of the Sports Coupe became it because it was released during a city and it came out with you know two or three cities right from the start. But it's been seeing a lot of, almost every single tour, just a little bit of buff here and there. It's been a very valuable cart. It's so just saying it might be worth getting. We might be seeing, um, again, you know, if uh, if in April or May I'm, I'm wrong, uh, feel free to let me know. But I do think that it will be buffed quite heavily in 2021, and this might be an official uh, handing off of the baton. So there you go. There's my, uh, <laughs> there, in a nutshell, there's my uh, my little speech there. Uh, there also is a cute little pack here, this, uh, this penguin um, pack here, the slider wingtip combo with no rubies, it's, uh, you know, I think from, you know, if you have an account set up through Mario Kart, it might be worth getting. Um, I think it's at least just worth getting once. You know, we've seen these interesting little packs be very valuable when you think about the, um, what, I think it's the uh, a couple different packs, you know, we've seen over the years, um, you know, anything from the 2021 Glider to, you um, you know, a happy ride to all these different packs where you, you kind of get this one item uh, at, at a low cost and um, they've had some decent value. So worth getting at least once. Um, as for the others, extremely good value across the board. I think Nintendo, as I mentioned before, wants you to replenish those rubies and it's giving you attractive packs. The only one that doesn't look attractive from the outlook is this Iron Cucumber. But as you know, um, I do like it a lot. So you know, maybe it's not worth the risk for the uh, free to play for the gold pass only. You're saying, I, I, you know, if I have to pick between these, there's no way in heck I'm, I'm picking this iron cucumber. I completely can't blame you. I'm just putting it out there. Uh, the silver star shoot and the black Yoshi is a great pack too. Um, I would say it's uh, not quite as good as this pink gold paper glider and the pink gold peach. Obviously, if you don't have pink gold keep peach, um, but uh, the silver, silver star shoot is going to be one I'll be investing in. It's in rank two and uh, definitely worthwhile looking into as well. All right, so there's there's the packs. Um, I know those free-to-play, you, you probably skipped over that section, completely understand. Now to some of what uh, people's favorite item is, and this is the who got buffed on the driver section. Um, you have uh, three tracks being given to Mario Halloween. One thing I want to point out is none of these tracks have been cities. So anyone who got buffed this tour, take with a grain of salt. Um, 
you never want your favorite items being buffed during a city tour because you don't know how often these cities are going to be brought back. But as I mentioned earlier, we don't know what's going to happen with these cities. There could be a chance that cities are brought in and a part of the regular rotation, or maybe uh, this Berlin 2 is just an indication that we'll be seeing more cities more often. Um, which, with that being said, you know, uh, typically... You don't want these things buffed. Uh, Mario Halloween got the good buffs, right? It's got uh, Mario Circuit 1, Mario Circuit 1R, and Mario Circuit 3. So he's now up to 16 tracks. He is number 6 on our top 10 list. He jumped pretty substantially. One of the things I did um, on this list is if a uh, driver cart or glider saw more than three cities, it has more than three cities uh, as, as a part of it, uh, I included it in red, mainly just to kind of let you know that it does have some cities. And so if they end up um, including the cities, um, there'll be some drivers that have a really large buff, a really large instantaneous um, added value. And I just kind of want to put it in there, just uh, just kind of a fun fact, more just because this is a city and we're kind of celebrating cities. So one of those I wanted to point out is Baby Rosalina Detective. She has 11 city tracks. I know she's in today's pipe. And so if uh, if that were to be the case, she would jump up to 23 tracks, which is ridiculous. That's a lot of tracks. Um, right now, she only has 12 non-city tracks. So right now, it's not super, super helpful. Um, but you might want to just get her once. You might want to tuck her away just in case that ever happens. Uh, and for those of you who had, who had Lakitu, uh, a lot of great tracks there, two of them being Mario Circuit. So... Um, just kind of want to point that out there. That's what's uh, showing here. So when I see you see the top number, that's plus three. It means three new tracks, 12 being non-city tracks. And then uh, I just kind of threw in some cities there as well. So DK Jr. got uh, two tracks. He has five city tracks. If they have less than three, I didn't put it on there. It's, it's uh, maybe not as important. But um, King bob -Omb now has 18 tracks, which is a lot of tracks. Um, both of those, however, being Berlin tracks. Um, Shy Guy Pastry Chef. Seven city tracks on top of his 13 that he has. Penguin Luigi still holding value. Of course, you know, it's a couple city tracks here, but he's number three on our list. Um, he's been extremely valuable. He has 20 non-city tracks in addition to his three city tracks. So extremely valuable there. Um, I think just when it comes to pure coverage, not a big fan of the skill, but uh, he has such great coverage. Might be worth looking into for this week two pipe. Uh, Build a Mario, Mario SNES, Peach Wedding, um, Pe Rosa uh, Aurora, Shy Guy Chef Gold, Peach Halloween, all of them got um, this Berlin's track, uh, whether it be T or uh, R. I kind of kind of layered them there, uh, similar to each other. Surprising, Rosalina Aurora has five city tracks in addition to her 16, so she already has decent value and then has those five cities. You see uh, Toad Party Time with 13 tracks, four additional cities. Um, Waluigi Bus Driver, um, only 13 tracks, and then six city tracks. And then Fire, Fire Rosalina, now up to 12 tracks. So some decent buffing there. I will say that they gave Fire Rosalina um, a non-city track, this uh, Calamari Desert 2R. However, it's got three coin box drivers. So not a great buff for her, but uh, it's at least not a city. So you got that going for you. As for the carts, um, I kind of put the the number of cities just in a, a small number up in the top, just because it was hard to, to, to see. But from that standpoint, Party Wing got four new tracks. Sports Coupe got three. So it's now up to, uh, the Sports Coupe is now up to 17 non-city tracks, four additional cities. So this is kind of what I was alluding to before. It's seen a lot of value, um, but it's got 17 non-city tracks, which is pretty decent for a pretty new um, cart there. And I mentioned... You might see Iron Cucumber kind of follow the footsteps without being in the 100 pipe uh, and, and paywalled continued. Um, as for carts, they got uh, two new tracks. You got Wild Black, which is our number three on our list. Been a consistent top five. Um, it's now up to 18. And four cities. Uh, the Gold Snow Skimmer um, up to nine. Um, it was free last uh, last tour, so it's uh, it's been kind of, or maybe it was the tour before, but it was it's been kind of slowly seeing its value. That's to be expected. Holiday King up to thirteen, Sunset Cloud up to fourteen, Dark Trickster now up to eleven. Uh, this Blue Bandwagon, this is what I was talking about before, eight tracks, and then five additional cities. Not great for the Blue Bandwagon, but I know for some people they didn't have it. 
so it might be worth looking into. Uh, DK Maxim, unfortunately, has a lot of value invested in cities as well. That's kind of what I wanted to try to discover here. It's got 14 tracks and then five additional cities. Um, some of the cards that received one new track, um, the pumpkin cart uh, up to 13. It's number 15 on our list. It dropped a little bit. Uh, Swift Tracked, Swift Jack, um, seven cities in addition to 12 now. Um, that's a lot of cities, seven cities. Um, one of the most on this list. The Comet Tail, four cities in addition to 16 tracks now. Um, C Crawley Cart, uh, one of my new favorites. It's nice and wide, it handles great. Now has 15, tra 15 tracks, and as you probably have noticed, uh, it's on this week's Ranked, and hopefully you're enjoying it. Um, Double Decker, as I mentioned, it's only got 10 tracks plus five cities. Ribbon Rider, uh, 11 tracks plus six cities. Black Ibuki Dasher, it only has four cities. I think we a lot we have uh, kind of done some um, mental connections with uh, Tokyo, but it's actually got 16 non-city tracks, which is great. Um, it's been pretty consistent on our list. And then the Ice Blue Poltergeist at 12 tracks. So that's our high ends that got buffed with one new track. Then um, Green Circuit now at nine, Red Circuit at nine, and Red Streamliner at nine. So now the Red and Green Standard Eight have been caught up to with the other supers uh, with a pretty good value. It's been buffed almost every single tour, but I think it's going to hold stable here with probably nine or ten uh, going forward. So we'll see how they uh, they introduce new cards like this cucumber that they released as well. All right, last but not least, when it comes to getting buffed, we are now at the glider section. So this Dry Bowser umbrella now up to ten tracks, which is pretty good. Um, you know, it's uh, now permanent in this pipe, it seems, and so it's uh, it's nice to see some value there. Um, obviously, you don't necessarily want it in the cities, but uh, I think we might have a Dragon Wings of 2021. Um, that's my prediction: is that we're going to see this uh, this high volume um, glider. We'll see how much invest in, investment it gets into cities, but. Just kind of think, you know, we're, we're getting the baton um, handed and, you know, as you know, there are different spurts where all of a sudden PGP is very valuable for three or four tours. And then all of a sudden Peach Vacation is very valuable right now. Mario Hakama is very valuable for uh, a couple tours here, especially when it comes to ranked. But they're kind of the, the spurts. I think we're starting to see a transition, though, from... You know, uh, we've had a pretty consistent um, cart top value and, and glider top value. I think we're going to kind of see a shuffling of the deck, a little handing off of the baton. So just putting that out there, the dry bouts or umbrella um, might be uh, seeing some qu quite a lot of buffing here in the next few tours. Um, New Year's uh, 2021 glider, obviously going to see some value there. Um, that's nice to see. Uh, blooper wingtip, butterfly prism, butterfly wings, which... I didn't realize it had seven city tracks in addition to its fourteen. Um, those are kind of those have all seen two. Uh, really, everything in this middle section it sees two buffs. But I want to stop here with this eight bit. Um, it's now got eighteen tracks, which is a lot of tracks, um, and it's actually bumped up to our number two on the list. It's been as you, you've been using it for ranked, uh, and if you don't have it, you haven't been using it for ranked, and wish you have. Um, it's been continued to see a lot of buff, but more, most importantly, it's been so involved in ranked. It seems like Nintendo really, really loves it. But if you look at this list, these icons are a lot smaller than the other um, slides here. And so from that standpoint, there are a lot of gliders buffed and specifically a lot given two new tracks. So, you know, obviously with uh, the 8-bit, it's seen a lot of those. Um, but then you also see the New Year's Kite. It's got eight cities, which is uh, extremely high. Um, you know, so it's up to 11 now. The gold New Year's kite uh, now up to nine. Jolly Bells to 14, which is actually really good. Um, so it's definitely a, a glider worth investing, especially being coin. Uh, Planet Glider now up to nine. Spider Glider to 15. Star Spangled Glider, 16 plus five cities. You also have the Sunset Balloons, wonderfully uh, looking beautiful glider. Now up to 17. It's actually number 12 on our list. You have the Festival Wings with four cities and 15 tracks total. So um, it's slowly getting up there, not as valuable as uh, as, as we were kind of hoping. And then we're giving, moving into the gliders with just one new track. And these would be the Strawberry Crepe, the Daisy Glider, which uh, former top 10. Now it's number 14 on our list. The Strawberry Donut, which uh, used to be a top five glider. It's dropped as well, and again, this is kind of going in the theme of 
kind of have a, uh, a changing of the guard, some of these top 10 gliders falling off and new gliders moving in. Um, it's now up to 10 with 18 tracks, four cities there. The Silver Bells, uh, 16 tracks, four cities. Chocolate Donut, 16 cities. The Glitter Glider, um, I'm sorry, 16 tracks there. Glitter Glider, 13 tracks with four cities. And then the 8-Bit jump, um, Jumping Luigi now has 18, or sorry, eight tracks. So slowly getting there. But these are who got buffed. This is a summary um, concluding there of who all got buffed. Definitely a lot of gliders this time, um, spe especially getting two tracks here. Now to everyone's uh, seemingly favorite here, it's the, the rundown. So here's the changes when it came to the top 10 drivers. Um, I think everyone was surprised to see Peach Wedding get into that number two spot. She is holding it down, obviously with Dry Bones Gold, holding down that number one spot for sure. Um, he's arguably you know, the best driver in the game, and I think a lot of people are now... He solidified that for a lot of people. Penguin to Luigi, uh, been pretty consistent, mainly, mainly based on coverage. Again, you're not a big fan of his skill. He went up one spot. He's now number three. Mario Chef, he's seen some better days, but he's still in that top 10. Um, to specifically, stop, uh, he's number four on our list, but um, you know he jumped up there to number one, and he's just been slowly moving down the pegs, but still a variable, valuable driver. I think with Lucky 7, you always uh, want to have him, but it's been a while since we've seen a... Chaco Island in ranked, which is, I think, in a lot of people's minds, a good thing. Um, Dry Bowser Gold, great coverage for him. He jumped up four spots. Um, he's been used in ranked quite a lot re here recently as well. Mario Halloween, this was the biggest jump on the list. Uh, he's now number six. Um, as many of you know, he's been very involved in ranked um, and uh, has a great special skill. Uh, I think we were a little skeptical being a Halloween alt. How is this value going to hold up over time? But he's number six on our list, and I think he's going to stay here for a while. He might be a part of this new guard. Black Yoshi, um, falling down a little bit, but he's still been pretty consistent, just mainly based on coverage. He has great coverage. Uh, Pink Old Peach uh, seems to be falling. We haven't seen her outside of Calamari Desert 2, where, she, where she's with other you know, two other coin box drivers. We really haven't seen her in ranked. And I think that's what's uh, hurt her score here. But she falls down too. Uh, Nabbit falls down too as well. Still a great driver to have, especially with Lucky 7. And then Pauline Party Time, who was uh, new to our top 10. She's been able to hold steady at 10. Uh, when it comes to those also mentioned, you have King Boo Gold, who has been rising. He's at number 11. Peach Vacation, a lot of people's favorite, one of it, their former favorite Grand Box driver at 12. Uh, Luigi Classic, a former top 10. At number 13, Bowser Santa, who has been up and down quite a lot. Uh, we'll see how he holds up now that we're past the holiday season. And then Mario Swimmer, a former number top 10 as well. So it's pretty consistent. I mean, pretty consistent, good list here uh, of our top 10 and top 15 when it comes to drivers. For carts, uh, you know, we have our, our still our, our top four have been pretty consistent over the last three or four months between Happy Ride. Rose Queen, Wild Black, and Off-Roader. They've been going up and down, rotating with each other, swipping and swapping. Um, specifically for this list, the Rose Queen and the Off-Roader have switched. Um, but again, you know, they'll probably switch next door. They just seem to keep going up and down, up and down. They're all, I think really these top four cards um, are very, very important for you to invest in. If you put any tickets on anything, um, these would be the four I would put it in. I will say, for what it's worth, uh, one of the strategies I take is I'm always scared to take things to six because once I get it to six and there's a, a pack, like you looking at the packs right now, uh, I'm only going to get coins for getting those packs. So it's not worth it for me necessarily to take things to six. That's where my strategy is where I take things to five, let the game take it to six. But with that being said, the happy ride is something that we probably won't see another pack for. We probably won't see it in a pipe. You know, it was an, a commemorative item that you could only buy by itself. So from that standpoint, feel free to invest tickets in it. You know, I I don't think there's anything to be afraid of when it comes to, at least for the time being, uh, maybe if they bring things back that were uh, commemorative items, I, I don't know, but I doubt that. Um, so any, any tickets you put into Happy Ride, I don't think you're going to regret. And it is number one on our list. Um, as for the others, I think we've seen a lot of people put uh, a lot of cap tickets on these top four. I highly recommend it. Great cards to have. Um, you may not want to have, some of them have over overlap with each other. So I know like the Rose Queen and the Happy Ride have, have a lot of uh, coverage share. So for me, Rose Queen's 
she's my uh, my, my side chick. Uh, I, I I love that cart. Um, I think I will be trying to triple cap it here soon. Um, but I love the off roader. I've double capped that as well. Um, Wild Black is good. I, I haven't seen it um, in ranked quite as much. We haven't seen you know we've seen some Bowser uh, Bowser's Castle, but in those ranked, we also have seen either off roader or Rose Queen or some other carts as well. So um, haven't gone quite as hard as I. Uh, wanted to because I love the way that the wild black looks all right moving on um Gilded King this was a new new top 10 and uh, as I mentioned it's in in the um the king set between Holiday King and Gilded King and Koopa King this seems to be the one with the most value um uh, and it's held off uh, all those that have been fighting to get into this top five and uh, it's held down a spot here at five I think it'll be pretty consistent as part of this new guard I think it'll be one of the most valuable carts and continue to do so. Um, I may be playing around with the thought of uh, double uncapping it with the tickets I have here in this upcoming rank. So um, I love I love the way it looks, obviously being a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Um, I love the color scheme, so I'm hoping it does. Um, Blue, Soda, Blue Soda has been at six <laughs> pretty steadily in that unique spot here for really um, quite a while, so it's uh, no surprise it's there. Um, Chuck Macaroon, this one's seen the most uh, fluctuation over the last few weeks. It used to be a former top five. Now it, I think it jumped all the way to, to fell down all the way to nine, and now it's up to seven. Gilded Prancer, been pretty consistent at eight specifically. It's uh, had that eight spot for quite a while. Gold Cheap Charger, this has great coverage. Phenom I think when you're talking about coverage, one of the top cards, uh, it is now up to number nine. Um, it does have a lot of overlap, though, and, and maybe the reason why it's been um, holding pretty well in this top 10 is it has a lot of Rainbow Road tracks and a lot of beach tracks, which is very, very popular um, here recently. So for that standpoint, it's uh, it's been pretty consistent in our top 9 or 10 here, um, and I actually I actually love the, the way that the cart handles, and, and uh, I think it'll be a pretty consistent cart going forward. Just a prediction. The Sweet Day Tripper, I always wondered why it was in our top 10. I've never been a, a huge fan, but I also don't have it at a high level. So um, I'm kind of, it fell three spots. I kind of hope it falls out of our top 10. Um, but again, um, you know, we let the data decide that, not uh, not us um, deciding who's going to be in this top 10. So we'll see how that goes going forward. As for those um, outside of the top 10, Black Kabuki Dasher at 11, Black Dozer at 12, Dark Buggy at 13, Bad Wagon at 14, and Pumpkin Cart, a former top 10 here recently at 15. But uh, Dark Buggy, um, you know, uh, Bad Wagon, Black Kabuki Dasher have always been on the outside looking in. I think uh, Bad Wagon was on the top 10 for maybe one week, and, and uh, Black Kabuki Dasher was on for another week. But um, and Black Dozer has being new, has fluctuated a lot. So I think we even saw it for just a very flash in the pan second. Finally, when it comes to the top 10, we got our gliders here. Dragon Wings holding down the number one spot. Um, <laughs> obviously, it's got great coverage uh, and uh, notoriously so. Um, it is uh, definitely one to double cap, and I think it's wor worth uh, investing in. I think it's been at this number one spot um, for, you know, similar to Dry Bones Gold for, geez, it seems like uh, an eternity, but probably the last four or five tours. Um, definitely a great glider there. One surprising one on the list, uh, the 8-bit star jumped up to number two. Uh, if you don't have this glider, you wish you did. Uh, it is a great glider for ranked. Um, when you think back about the two or three tra two or three tours, he's kind of been like Mario Hakama in that he's just been so valuable over the last three. And uh, if, you, if you capped him or uh, leveled him up a month ago, you are, you've been doing very well in ranked. Um, it might be a little late now. We'll see if it continues to hold its value. Again, we've seen it spurt really hard here. We'll see if it kind of goes back and, and regresses to the mean here. But uh, right now, it's at our number two on the list, jumping up four spots. This gold crane, um, you've seen, especially for those doing all cup ranking, it is so involved. I mean, I think I used it for like, I'd say seven or eight tracks last uh, last cup when it came to the all cup ranking. Um, it's extremely valuable. It's number three on our list, jumped up four spots. Gold glider fell a little bit, uh, but still... Solid number four there on our list. The Butterfly Sunset, the biggest jumper uh, on this list. Been around for a while. I think a lot of people have it, uh, especially from the All Clear Pipe. But it's num number five right now. Uh, it's I think this is the first appearance we've seen 
uh, in the top 10, but it's a great glider um, just with pure coverage. It's uh, it's pretty solid here at five. We'll see if it's uh, going to hold off that spot. You know, as I mentioned, one of my theories is that Nintendo kind of picks one of a series. You know, so for this, you have Butterfly Wings, Butterfly Sunset, and Butterfly Prism. Typically, in this, uh, in in a trio, Nintendo likes to pick one and kind of have that being the leader of the the trio. Um, in this case, it might be Butterfly Sunset. I don't know. Um, with as many as many um, tracks that Butterfly Wings has that are cities, I think it's going to be Butterfly Sunset that holds that value of that trio. Similar to the Golden King or Gilded King. Um, Gold Swooper still number six, fell one spot. Um, Cloud Glider fell quite a lot though, uh, dropped number th three spots here. Starshoot holding down the number eight spot, still a top ten glider. It's been that way for a while. Um, Royal Parachute unfortunately dropped six spots. It's a pretty big jump. Um, they're pretty pretty big fall. That's been the largest fall on this list. Now number nine. And the Strawberry Donut, oh man, used to have so much value. I think it was up to number two on our list. Uh, used to be a great glider. I think, though, in this 2021, with this changing of the guard, I think this will be a glider that will be not quite as valuable as it was this past year. Though we haven't seen a lot of Chaco Island uh, tracks, and I think it has a lot of value there. As for number uh, 11 plus, we have Chocolate Banana Crepe at uh, number 11. Sunset Balloons at 12, Wicked Wings at 13, Daisy Glider, a former top 10, pretty consistently down to 14 now, and then Tropical Glider, a great coverage glider at 15. So th these are our top 10. Comment below if you feel like uh, you disagree with any of these, but uh, again, you know, take a look at the, the data, take a look at the algorithm, and let us know if you think there should be any changes. We're not, uh, we're, we're trying to keep things pretty flexible, try to have a pretty accurate algorithm, feel pretty confident about, about that. Some of the things when it comes to the week one ranked, you are very familiar with this, but uh, this kind of gives you a, a better look out, especially when it comes to the level six carts and gliders like Calamari Desert 2R. There's a lot of um, items that are available at level six. So take a look at that. That's helpful to, to, to pinpoint. Um, you know, And if you're looking at these uh, slides on Reddit, um, this will be extremely help, helpful for you to be able to plan accordingly. But most of you already know a lot of this information, having been two or three days into this tour. But as looking at week two uh, for the King Boo Cup, this is uh, these are the tracks. You have Airship Fortress, which you know you want to point out there. It's got a couple um, carts there that have a level six access, uh, a couple gliders as well. It's good to kind of take a look to see. You got ten jump boosts, uh, a lot of mini turbos. It's a very windy track. Um, so from that standpoint, you know, maybe something like the Rose Queen with Mini Turbo Plus might be your best option here. Again, you might want to add up these numbers. So like a difference of, say, four points times, you know, 38 Mini Turbos might make sense. Um, sometimes a rocket start, you know, with as many, with as few rocket uh, jump boosts might be a good mi mix for you as well. Berlin Bi Byways 2T, interesting track here. Um but with some interesting drivers as well. I think I'm going to be forced to use Penguin Luigi, and I'm already hating it. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, Koopa Troopa Beach 2T, uh, a fun track. We'll see how it goes. Um, you know, when it comes to what you're looking at there, no no uh, coin box drivers. So we'll see how everyone holds down there. But um, some interesting tracks. I don't think you'll see as high of a number, except for, for Air, Airship Fortress, just because there's not a lot of coin box drivers, which we've been... Man, we've seen so many ranked with coin box drivers. It's been almost hilarious. Almost every single track for like the last, I don't know, four or five weeks seems to have some kind of uh, coin box driver. So this will be an interesting ranked for sure, especially with driver tickets on the line. All right, and one little fun slide here. I just kind of threw this in. Um, I'm not entirely sure who put it together, so feel free to comment below if this was uh, this was your piece. Um, but I saw it in a message group, and I wanted to kind of show it to you. These are potential other Berlin tracks. As we talked about, this is Berlin Byways 2. There's certainly a 1, <laughs> whatever that means. Um, and then there might be a 3 or 4. But from an aerial view and uh, taking a look to see, I think uh, a lot of a lot of um, ideas came from that glide section in, in the T version, you know, kind of seeing some panoramic. Um, feel free to comment below, but these are some additional potential other Berlin tracks. So... Fun little uh, teaser there, but I uh, just thought I'd throw this in at the very end. So that's all I have, you know, from this standpoint. Um, I appreciate you taking the time to watch uh, the episode of The Rundown. 
one thing I would like to say is that we got to kind of have a unique window where I want to be able to have as much um, current information on these videos. And so for now, this all the information I review will be good for about 11 days. And then all of a sudden we'll be on a new tour and you'll be excited for that new video. So I want to have the most uh, recent content. However, I also want, um, I don't want any of this information to be old news. You know, obviously the tour was released four or five days ago and you know, I think at this point in time, you know, some of this information might, might be, uh, might be old. So, um, let me know if you'd rather just this information come out on like Thursday or Friday after the new tour and just say, Hey, you know what? You know, we won't know exactly what comes week two, but that's okay. I'd rather find out more earlier than later or, Hey, no, I want to know, um, I want to know the top 10 based on who was updated from the week two ranked, etc. So let me know. I, I'm always open to feedback. I love hearing from you guys. So let me know what you think. And for that, enjoy the rest of Berlin and your leader hosen.